Secret. I'm gonna tell you a secret. It's been bad this last year. It hasn't been this bad in a long time. Yeah, that's my mess. I am always tired. I'm like always tired. I mean, and it's not even as bad as it used to be, but I'm always tired, like exhausted, wiped out all the time for the last 12 years, 10 years, 12 years, actually. I'm tired right now. That wasn't even prompted. I'm really just that tired. All right, so let me find a prop. Because I can't stand long either. That's another thing you might not have known. Um, I talked to another mom who has eight kids and she can't stand for very long either. Without, you know, unless I'm actively doing something I can, but not just stand. So it was really bad when I was pregnant. And after I had babies. And when my babies were little, when my older three were little, it was really bad. And it was so bad, like, I would walk into the store and, like, would have all the kids. And I'd be like, okay, I can get to the store. Like, right now, I wouldn't get in a car and drive. Because I'm tired. I'm just that tired. And so, let's see if I can hold this better, sorry. And so, um... There's been times like I'd walk in the store and turn around and go, and I'm just like, I cannot fun. And I'm talking like I can't function tired. I'm talking like I'm on the couch, exhausted, and the kids are walking, you know, like the baby is, not the baby, you know, she's three, is heading outside, and it's like, oh, And it's everything to, like, drag your body off the couch tired. And I'm, I mean... This is not like, hey, you know, I had a beer and I'm tired. You know, this is, this is just exhaustion. And I've been living with a level of exhaustion for a while. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm a lot better than I used to be. Ten years ago, it was just like, I fed them and I read to them. And that was pretty much it. I didn't do much. I didn't try to do much because I was just exhausted. Absolutely. Like, can I get an Amen. You know that mommy exhaustion? I mean, I'm talking like legit mommy exhaustion. I'm talking like you're so exhausted you don't nap, but your body doesn't even want to move. And like right now, my body just doesn't even want to move. And it's always been kind of like a constant struggle. I'm not here giving you answers. By no means am I talking like here's what to do. Take it easy. Be kind to yourself. That's all I got for you. Like be kind. Take it easy. So, most times I can't will myself out of bed unless I'm drinking coffee. Like, serious, serious amounts of coffee. This has always been a struggle. The dishes have always been a struggle. You know, my thing, and I'll watch these moms on YouTube, and I'm just like, how do you do it every day? I'm just so tired. Or the curriculum. I'm like, that curriculum is nice, but it's so ambitious. How... How do you just keep up? How did you get that put away? Am I lazy? Oh, I spent time like just getting onto myself about being lazy. And I feel bad. So the last year has been really hard for me YouTubing. But the last year I've been really... Like here you are. Tiring. Exhausting. It's been absolutely exhausting. So it's been funny because, you know, I've been doing all these probiotic things. I've got so many experiments going on here in my kitchen. That's fruit that I'm going to culture. That's cultured vegetables. My husband's coffee. That is whey with kefir cheese. I'm making kefir cheese here. Let me hold you straight. That's pickled coleslaw. Kombucha, kombucha, and there's another kombucha you can't see. All right, so just saying. Like, even though I'm exhausted, I do things. I just don't do a lot. Well, I do a lot more things than I used to. But the thing about it is, is I'm wiped out. Any little, like, event. Like, today, I left the house two times. Wiped out. So the one was, you know, because I have the one kid that's a pre k -er in preschool. So they had a big event, which was outside for like an hour and a half. And it was beautiful and it was nice. But just the act of like being out in that kind of, not even that it was a social setting, but it was exhausting. And then we had a doctor's appointment 
to go to and it's like by the time I'm like I am done I am so done so it's really crazy because as I've been doing all the research for the intolerance for my daughter learning about probiotics I started coming to adrenal fatigue not the first time I've heard about adrenal fatigue but this time I will tell you I listened so as I'm reading the adrenal fatigue I'm like well could that be what I deal with a lot and then there's a little bit of like, whoa, that's what I was dealing with 10 years ago. Actually, that's what I'm still dealing with now. Hmm. One of the things that I hate that has always been a problem when I get this exhausted, if I actually try to get things organized or get the kids, you tend to be very moody. I hate to even say it, but like a yeller. When I say yelling, and icely because you have these like crazy rages because you're so exhausted and that's all you can do so I don't have any answers but I can tell you I'm exhausted and in an effort to get better I stopped drinking coffee that's all for my husband the percolator not me and you know as I'm getting better I guess I'm going through this healing crisis where my body just jams up and just is not happy but I'm in it for the long haul. I need the energy back. So I hope this helps. And my husband just showed up. So I should get off. I'll talk to you later.